The Tesla Semi continues to draw widespread interest for its remarkable performance. It's distinguishing itself even in its earliest real-world runs when compared to conventional diesel trucks. Up until now, what the public has seen represents only the testing stage. As every operational unit currently on the road is still a prototype provided to a select group of key customers. These trial partners are using the trucks in active service to supply Tesla with crucial real-world data before the company finalizes the vehicle's design. This step is essential before production can scale up fully at Tesla's dedicated manufacturing. Facility, a milestone expected to be reached before the close of the year. Recently, a fresh Tesla semi-prototype was spotted, the second new build seen this month after years of no entirely new units being produced. Suggesting that the Simi is undergoing major updates in both design and operational cost efficiency. Aside from visible changes such as updated headlights, the revised version introduces a notably wider cabin with larger windows, as well as the long-promised sleeper cab option that has now been officially incorporated into the mass production. Tesla Semi Gen 2. These developments raise the question of exactly what has been altered in the Gen 2. Redesign and how its actual market. Ice might influence its role in the trucking industry. Some of the changes are bound to provoke debate among Tesla enthusiasts. Yet many customers and industry stakeholders consider them important refinements that bring the truck more in line with real-world operational needs. In examining this second-generation model, it is important to review not only the design tweaks, but also the results from recent deep RIALS in real conditions and the current state of production at the Tesla semi-manufacturing site. While Elon Musk has reiterated his determination to bring the semi into production as soon as possible, his public comments have tended to focus on the progress of the battery and drivetrain systems at Gigafactory Nevada, leaving other details less defined, apart from a mention that some production-related work might take place in other states from the outset. There has been skepticism from investors and industry analysts regarding whether battery-powered trucks could ever be truly practical for heavy freight. The main concern was that the size and weight of the battery packs required for long-range hauling would be excessive, making electric freight transport, particularly for large trucks and trains, unworkable. Musk, however, has been adamant that Tesla's project was not simply about building an electric truck. It was about transforming freight transport entirely. The semi, in his vision, would be so advanced and efficient that it could help attract and retain drivers at a time when the United States is facing a severe shortage of trucking labor. Since its initial reveal, the semi has been capable of traveling up to 500 miles on a single charge without cargo, with the potential to save an operator as much as 1 million gallons of diesel over its operational life equivalent to around $3.5 million in reduced fuel costs. Musk has often described the semi as a money-making machine. Yet despite being first unveiled in 2017, the vehicle's journey to mass production has been repeatedly delayed, now stretching to nearly eight years so far. Only about 200 to 300 units have been delivered, mostly to carefully selected customers, with the rest remaining in Tesla's own testing fleet. The prolonged delay stems largely from Tesla's deliberate strategy to collect extensive operational data from companies such as PepsiCo before locking in the final production specifications. This phase has been invaluable not just for fine-tuning performance, but also for confirming reliability under demanding real-world conditions. Musk and his team have insisted that launching large-scale production without ironclad reliability would be a costly mistake. Now, with the Nevada Gigafactory's semi-production facility nearing completion and the trial programs with major logistics partners entering their final stages, Tesla has begun to reveal some of the more notable Gen 2 updates compared to the original prototypes. Longtime Tesla observer Zenegler, known for capturing drone footage of factory activity, recently filmed a new semi unit wrapped in protective covering. The vehicle displayed clear refinements to the front fascia, bumper, and overall body lines. Additional spy images taken in. Various states have revealed that while the trucks share the same general variant, Subtle differences exist between them. Among the most visible updates is a light bar reminiscent of the one used on the Cybertruck and the upcoming Asepper Cab Model Y. Now integrated into the Semi Gen 2, 
Tesla has also enlarged the windshield and incorporated the long-awaited sleeper. CAB configuration. A feature missing from the original day cab prototype, but now fully integrated into certain production intent builds. While the day cab will remain available, the addition of a sleeper version signals. Tesla's readiness to serve long haul operations more effectively. One of the most notable design adjustments is the expansion of the windowed area, which now covers roughly 70% of the space behind the driver's seat, an area that appears to have been converted into a sleeper compartment. In earlier concepts, that space was unused. But photographs now show a distinct module above the secondary cabin area, indicating a dedicated sleeping zone. The rear body panel protrudes slightly more than before, and the lower side profile has been shortened and reshaped to accommodate the new design. Tesla is also offering both high roof and low roof variants of the semi. With the taller design optimized for directing airflow smoothly over standard cargo containers, and the lower design aimed at improving aerodynamics for shorter freight by reducing frontal drag. Spy photos suggest that the cabin roof length has been shortened by around half compared to early prototypes. And overall cabin height has been lowered, possibly part of a broader effort to balance. Interior space with aerodynamic efficiency. Newly integrated electrical junction box on the side of the cabin replaces a previously empty panel, proving both appearance and space use. Still, Tesla's current allocation of resources means that not all of the most impactful improvements may be available immediately in large quantities. The Gen 2 Semi's core advancements center on enhanced battery technology, more efficient manufacturing processes, and future readiness for full self-driving integration. Signs are emerging that full-scale production has already begun quietly. Don Priestley, who leads the Semi program, confirmed that the updated truck will feature drop glass side windows to make low-speed yard and port operations easier. Alongside Tesla's new HP battery pack, cheaper to build, smaller in capacity, but more than 7% more efficient than the pilot version. Tesla will now sell the Semi in two range configurations, 500 miles and 300 miles, with both featuring updated mirrors and improved window designs to boost driver visibility. This change solves a major problem for smaller transport companies that previously had to purchase the premium. 500 mile version, even if their daily routes were well under that distance, such as urban or regional delivery work, now businesses can select a base model with a range of 250 to 300 miles, paying far less while still enjoying Tesla's key advantages, low running costs, strong performance, and environmental benefits. By trimming back high-cost extras like maximum range batteries and advanced driver assist features, Tesla has made electric freight far more attainable. The base models still include Tesla's robust electric motors, fast acceleration, and energy-efficient aerodynamic shape, but at a significantly reduced entry price, even during its prototype stage. The Semi has proven itself in challenging real-world use consistently outperforming other electric trucks in efficiency and range. The Gen 2 program also brings pricing changes. Instead of only offering the original 500-mile, $250,000 configuration, Tesla will now let customers order a version tailored to their specific needs with shorter range models expected to start. At around $170,000, these new models will also include an electric power takeoff system, EPTO allowing the truck's high-voltage battery to run auxiliary equipment such as refrigerated trailers, placing noisy diesel generators, traditionally used for that purpose. Tesla is simultaneously developing a redesigned battery pack for the final production models, engineered to be cheaper to build but still capable of delivering similar range thanks to efficiency gains. All semi-battery cells will be produced in the U.S., protecting the supply chain from tariffs and ensuring more stable production. On the charging side, Tesla is introducing a megawatt-class charging system specifically for the Semi, capable of up to 1.2 megawatts. This system uses the same V for hardware seen in the latest supercharger stations, but is optimized for the truck's higher demands. It also has a smaller footprint and can be installed as either dedicated truck chargers or shared-use units, depending. On the site, 
An integrated overnight charging option is also in development. Production readiness has been boosted by Tesla's recent hiring of over 1,000 workers at Giga Nevada, a huge leap from the fewer than 100 previously involved in semi development. The factory is being scaled to build up to 50,000 units annually. With production and tent vehicles expected before the end of 2025 and a ramp up through 2026 earlier, production was hampered by tariffs on imported Chinese components at times. As high as 145%, but following a reduction in trade tensions in May 2025, 